Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. Let me take the time out to just welcome all my subscribers. All of y'all, I appreciate y'all. And if you're not subscribed and you're watching the videos and you're sharing them, why not subscribe so we can bring awareness to others? Now y'all, I want y'all to watch this video and I want y'all to tell me what you think. Some 215 bodies have been found in a pauper cemetery behind a prison in Hines County, Mississippi. The gravesite is intended for people of no known family, but relatives of the deceased say officials failed to contact next of kin, despite some of the deceased having identification. See the markers there. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump is representing the families of Mario Moore, Dexter Wade, and Jonathan Hankins, who were all buried in the cemetery without knowledge of their families. The men's mothers are pictured on the right. Mario Moore's family would discover authorities had buried him months ago in the pauper's field after he was found slain on the street early February 2023. His body buried in July. His family says they didn't learn of his death until early October when they saw Moore's name in a list published by CNN affiliate WLBT, 24 homicide victims whose identities had not been publicly disclosed by the Jackson Police Department. Wade was hit and killed by a police vehicle. And although the victim had an identification, Wade's family has not been notified of his death. His family thought Wade was missing until they recently learned he was buried, identified by only a number in the Pauper Cemetery, again, just outside of Jackson. Jonathan Hawkins' mother, Gretchen, telling Fox affiliate WBLT, it's like they just threw him out like trash, just like they did with the others. Hankins was reported missing by his mother when he didn't return home one weekend in May 2022. After more than a year of his mother working with the Rankin County Sheriff's Office and searching, it would be NBC News who would solve the mystery as part of an investigation into people being buried in the Hines County Pauper's Field. Jonathan had been found dead on May 23rd, 2022, three days after leaving home in a hotel room in nearby Jackson. Investigators quickly verified his identity, but the Hines County Coroner's Office and the Jackson Police Department, which both responded to the scene, failed to tell his family. The county buried him in a grave marked only by a number, 645. Yet NBC News with the details. Activist Arthur Reed, who works with Crump, recently visited the gravesite where the deceased who were in body bags were placed into shallow graves. Reed telling Fox 26 in an interview, the stench from the bodies are drawing buzzard. Jackson Police Chief Joseph Wade has implemented a new death notification policy that will provide relatives with a notification and details about their loved ones' deaths. We're gonna talk more about that ridiculous statement. The gruesome discovery of 215 bodies buried in unmarked graves behind a jail outside of Jackson, Mississippi, has left a community in disbelief. The families are angry their loved ones were buried in so-called pauper's graves, marked by just a metal rod and a number, and families were never notified of their deaths. The startling revelation came months after the mother of 37-year-old Dexter Wade filed a missing persons report last March. It wasn't until August when Betterson Wade learned her son had been hit by a police car and killed, then buried in that same cemetery. Get what's in the mix this morning. Dozens of improperly stored human remains have been found in a Colorado funeral home. Investigators searched the property after a report of an odor coming from the mortuary. They removed 189 sets of human remains. The funeral home offers what are called green burials without embalming fluid in a biodegradable casket. The coroner's office is trying to identify the bodies and notify families that could take several months watch so, breaking a mother in jackson mississippi reported her child missing to the police they go sorry can't help you then she finds out that an off-duty jackson police officer struck and killed her son dexter wade as he was crossing a highway leaving his mother's home in march the Hines county coroner's office identified him using fingerprints and information from prescribed medication police found at the scene. Police claim they couldn't reach Wade's mother. 
Hmm. Better seen Wade Robinson left his body, and this is crazy, y'all. They left his body unclaimed at the morgue for months before burying him in an unmarked grave on the Hines County Penal Farm. Okay, guys, what did y'all think? I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening, what has been happening, but Mississippi, you're telling me, first of all, I hope you guys realize it's two different stories. One is over 200 bodies found behind that jail in Mississippi. The other one is a morgue that has over 200 bodies decaying. And it's not the same 200 bodies. Now, look at how many missing people we have. Missing family members, all these missing posters. And you guys are telling me that people can bury someone in the United States and not say they don't have a family? Now, this guy that ran across the highway and was hit, he had his medication bottle on him. He had his name. How could you not find... First of all, you would see the doctor that prescribed the medication. That's number one. So you knew who the patient was. You have a birthday. I am sure it would not be hard for you to find a family member to tell them, oh, your son was killed. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Don't go missing. Hmm. And then, y'all, listen, y'all, just be aware. And look how many bodies they found that did not have their organs. Where are the missing organs at? Mm. Anyways, y'all, please comment below. Tell me what you guys think. Hmm. Guys. Tell me what y'all think. Yeah, I know Tony loves y'all. I just want to keep y'all aware. Hm. Stay focused, y'all.